Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I did an unboxing with BoxyCharm. I know I'm late to the game. I was actually traveling back and forth from Texas to Georgia, stayed there for a week and a half and then made it back to Texas. So anyways, I got home and my BoxyCharm was here. Of course, I did a spoiler alert, alert and watched other people unpackage their BoxyCharms and it's, you know, it's it's been great. So I wanted to do a tutorial using the BoxyCharm items. I enjoy doing that every time I get a box from BoxyCharm because I want my YouTubers to see how does this subscription perform. So if you want to see how I unbox these products and use them, please stay tuned. This month's BoxyCharm is absolutely adorable. So the, the theme of it is Beach Please. So Beach Please. So in this BoxyCharm, we got Moda Pro 3-piece brush set. This retails for $26. So it's already paid for your, your BoxyCharm subscription with those three brushes. I absolutely loved using these brushes. These are amazing. I am intrigued with this handle. This handle is, has a little bit of rubber. It's got some indentations on it so that you can grip it. And these are just absolutely amazing. I have not had these types of brushes and I hope BoxyCharm continues to give them to us or I'm just going to have to splurge and buy all of them. So the pointed blush brush was a BMX 130. We also received a um, Moda Pro chisel and then somewhere in my hot mess I got going down here they also gave us an amazing crease brush and I use a crease butt brush throughout the whole putting the face on. So then we got a waterproof gel eyeliner. It's a creamy waterproof eyeliner for true definition that lasts all day. So I'm really excited about testing that out and that retails for $15 from Bella Pierre. Then we have Pro Lashes from Pure. Did you like that? It's almost like I've got butterflies on my eyes. So these Pure 3D uh, lashes are handcrafted. They are ultra lightweight and natural looking for fuller lashes. They're cruelty free. And allegedly you can wear these up to 30 times. So I'm really intrigued by that. I will say that um, I normally use Ardell lashes. The Ardells are a lot more lightweight than these. This has a thicker black band that's got a really nice curve. They go on very easy, but they do feel heavier to me than the Ardell Wispy. So if you're familiar with Ardell's lashes, these are a bit heavier, and I think that's because of the band, but once you get them on and in place, they're, they're fine. So then we have, oh, and those Pro Lashes go for $14. Now, if you do truly get 30 wears out of the, the lashes, you're looking at basically 50 cents every single time you wear them. That's not bad at all. So then we have some Girl Power Liquid Lips, and this is by the Beauty Core. Beauty Crop, excuse me, I don't have glasses on. TheBeautyCrop.com, this retails for $14.95. It went on very creamy, dried down fast, and it didn't kiss off. Absolutely love that. But the ultimate in this box, I would have said the ultimate was the Moda Pro 3-piece brush set, but the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 by Tarte, this retails for $36. So again, you got a lot of product um, for basically $21 or $22, I think the, the subscription goes for. So when I first bought this, I looked at it and I was like, oh my gosh, this has an absolute amazing amount of shimmers. I don't know that I could wear this palette. So one of my daughters from Sweden was over in America and she picked this one up and took it home and I was okay because they looked very shimmery on the surface. Well, I was real excited to see that Tarte was sending this in the BoxyCharm because I never got a chance to really use that. I never used the palette, period. It was brand new before I gave it to her. So anyways, um, I was curious. I didn't think that I was gonna like it, although I absolutely adore Tarte products because I was afraid that these kind of have like a shimmer on top and I thought, I, you know, I can't do that much shimmer, but I was gonna try it anyways. 
So I put them on, they, they blend nice, they're light, they're beautiful, everything that screams tart. Really and truthfully, the only one that really had a burst of, um, or actually two, had a, like a burst of shimmer, was these two here. Um, one, this one up on top is called Pearl, and this one down here is called Sunset. So I actually carved out my eye right here to use some Sunset to give it a nice bold shimmer. I did use this lipstick, but I put a topper on it from ColourPop just to give a little bit more of a shimmer. I just really enjoyed putting this look together. So I hope you, um, now that I've unboxed the, now that I've unboxed everything, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go right into the tutorial. You'll get to see how am I using these products, what are my reactions, etc. So I hope you stay, stay tuned to see how I created this look using BoxyCharm. Alright, so on my face I have already started the process and with things that weren't in this month's BoxyCharm. And so on my, for my foundation, I have Natasha Denona. For contour, I have Makeup Geek. For the blush, I'm using Tarte's Unstoppable. And for my lip pencil, I am using Women Rule the World, the Real Her. This is Real Her Expert Advice Lip Liner. So I got this out of another subscription. I can't remember which one. But anyways, I wanted to, oh, and eyebrows are done by Anastasia Beverly Hills. My makeup primer spray is from Scandinavia, so that should, oh, highlighter is from Artist Couture, and that basically gets you caught up with where I'm at. So now I'm going to use the, the items that I received in BoxyCharm to kind of finish my look. So we're going to use with the Girl Power Liquid Lipsticks. This is a matte liquid lip and do we see a color and the color is date night how cute is that you know it's going to be a good day when your lips say date night okay the doe foot applicator applied this nicely we're going to see how this dries down it is nice and creamy right now feels pretty good like the color it's not red it's not brown it's somewhere in between the lipstick dried down pretty quick and woohoo passes the kiss off test so yes i guess that is ready for date night we got an eye palette from tarte in this month's boxy charm how cool is that and we get a new brush to use that for the crease and I already used the contour brush for the contour and then I actually used the pointed blush brush that we got for the highlighter. So I love these handles. I'm in, I'm in lust with these handles. They're almost like a rubber grip. Feels amazing. So we're going to start out the eye look with conch. I'm going to add that all over the eye. I like to use a bright color all over the eye to kind of whiten the canvas. Not that my skin needs any more whitening, right? However, I do like to use the white as a canvas just to make sure that when I put on whatever other color, it really pops as the natural color and then we'll blend. Once we have that in place, I'm really kind of torn by today's look. Do I use the purplish browns or do I use the tan browns? Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and use this color here called Breezy. We're going to put that in the transition, the, the upper crease and transition. Okay, then we are going to go in with the color Siren and it's right next to it. That is, no, we don't want to go in with that one yet. I lied. I lied. We're going to go in with Seaside, which is right here. And this, this palette does not have a lot of fallout, which is awesome. The colors look darker in the pan than they're actually showing up on my eye, which for newbies, I would say that is great. It 
allows you to build up the color and blend it easier. So you got a buildable color and you really don't have to tap your brush to be honest because there's not there's not much fallout on this bad boy. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the color Siren along the outer V. And I'm just using the same brush as I'm building up. What's interesting about this palette, I almost did. I think I bought it. I did buy it. And then when Matilda was out a while ago, my Swedish daughter, um, she took that palette with her and I never got to use it because whatever my babies wants, my babies gets. I never used it because on the surface, they all look very shimmery, which I don't know if it's picking that up in the camera. So I was actually concerned about using it because I really didn't want a full palette of shimmer, but I love Tarte products. So I was like, eh, let's go ahead and get it, even if it is shimmery. And by the way, this is a clean brush. But I'll be honest with you, these aren't going on with a high shimmer, which is really, really nice because it gets more of a matte appearance. But again, if I looked at this palette in the store, I'd be like, wow, that's a lot of shimmers. And my eyes don't do well with that many shimmers. But lucky for me, it's not. Okay, we're going to take a flat brush and we're going to use pick up that siren again and work that onto the lower lash line. We're gonna pick up the color Marina on that same flat brush and pull that, that in on the inner lower lash line and just kind of work its way below Siren. Taking the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm just going to do kind of a mini carved out eye. Not a big one, just a mini one. Okay, now we're going to pick up the pretty color here called Sunset. And I actually dropped this palette, so this is raising a little bit on the palette. Totally my fault. I got so excited, I dropped it. And we didn't like dropping makeup. The sunset that I'm picking up does have more brilliance in it, which is exactly what I thought the whole palette was. So this is such a nice surprise that my, they really did look matte other than this color that I'm putting on right now. Okay, so on that clean brush, I'm going to pick up a little bit more of the Marina and kind of just sweep back and forth, blending out any harsh lines with that goldish color named Sunset. And I basically just dab my brush in it, not really picking up a whole lot of product because I don't want, I just want it to help blend and soften, not really necessarily add a color. Next, we are going to use the gel eyeliner from Bella Pierre. This one is in the color Ebony, which makes me want to sing Ebony and Ivory in harmony side by side okay enough of that here we go bella pierre gel eyeliner coming up i don't know that i would necessarily call this color ebony because to me that means it's super black to me i feel like this is coming off more of a charcoal black not a deep black it does go on a tad bit dry so it's not super creamy where it just goes right over your eyelid. I am excited to try these Pro Eyelashes from Pure. They're 3D cruelty free luxe lashes and you can get up to 30 wears. That's amazing that you can get up to 30 wears on these, I almost said 30 years. Lord, some of you out there aren't even 30 years old. Okay, so let's get this little bad boy out. These are cruelty-free, paraben-free, and vegan-friendly. My eyes are watering today. I'm back in Dallas for all of two days, not even two days, and my body has not adjusted to whatever pollens are here, so my eyes are extra crazy. 
Uh, allergies. So I'm going to pick up the Tardiest Pro and I'm going to go ahead and just dot that along the eyelash line. For me, the reason why I do this is to keep them in place when I'm going to be at work all day. And I'm going to be at work all day. Okay, so these have a black band on them with little bitty tips. And I got eyelash glue there. So you're going to have to have a pair of scissors when you get these. And just kind of trim them down. I'm really intrigued by the up to 30 wears. In case you can't pick up on that. All right, we're gonna, I'm applying lash glue to these lashes to let them start setting up. You don't wanna put them on too quick because if you do, they'll slide. And you don't wanna wait too long because if you do, it won't be tacky enough. And then you get the edges lifting up. No bueno. And I'm trying to line the false lash, the metal, with the middle of my eye. Since they are curved, they are going on rather nicely. For me, these are a perfect fit. I think for ladies that have a smaller my a smaller eye bit, like my sister, she's got. I'm gonna use the Ciate Wonder Wand mascara. The mascara afterwards for me is to help blend in my own eyelashes and get them stuck, so to speak, against the false eyelashes. I normally use the Adele Ardell Wispy Lashes and these do feel much heavier than the Ardells. So if you're not quite used to using false eyelashes, these are gonna feel pretty heavy on you. As a lipstick topper to the date night, I'm going to use ColourPop's Lights Out. Okay, so that's going to complete this BoxyCharm look. I'm going to go ahead and do my hair, and I'll be back to give you some first and last impressions. You know what's coming up. See you in a minute.